So how's everybody doing? It's PR, and I'm back with another video looking like Grizzly Adams here. So I'm not going to come on here and talk about the win because there are so many other Eagles fans out there who do that for a living and do keep up with that stuff, and um, I don't want to beat a dead horse or steal any of their thunder. So watch them if, if you want like a synopsis about the, the game. Um, I wanted to make this video after a win. I was going to make it last week because I thought a tie was going to be the the closest thing to a win that we were going to have this month. So I'm glad that this was a win right here. And I'll tell you why I wanted to make this video after a win. Um, I guess what I wanted to say is that losing really makes you appreciate winning. Because when you lose a lot, you know, you kind of forget the feeling of winning. And when you finally do win, you know, it feels really good. You know, it feels really good that you're not, you don't have like a, a depressed Monday. Uh, but I guess what I want to say with this video is, again, not talking about the win, not talking about how much we stink, not talking about how much the NFC East is a joke. Personally, I think that the Cowboys still have the best chance of winning this division. Uh, but I hope that they don't. I think that they. I just think that they have a more consistent offense than we do. I think they have a lot less problems than the Eagles do. The Eagles just basically derp themselves into winning the NFC East, thanks to that tie, um, which a lot of people want to get rid of ties. I think ties are not that bad. Um, the last time the Eagles had a tie, they it, it helped them go to the playoffs. But I don't, I don't see any of these teams in the NFC East winning a playoff game. I think the Dallas Cowboys are the closest team that could possibly win a playoff game just because of the consistency of their offense. And I, I personally believe that Leighton Van Der Esch is the best player on their team, and the fact that they don't have him is an issue for them. But let me just move on to the point that I'm going to make in this video. I don't know how many people are going to watch this, but again... Losing really makes you appreciate winning. And I don't expect the Eagles to do very very much winning this season. But a really discerning thing that I've noticed over the past uh, over the past month is the fact that with those two straight losses and that tie, there are a lot of Eagles fans who their first instinct was to jump ship. Their first instinct was to come on, make videos about um, how much the Eagles were bad, which is fine, you know, the Eagles are not a good team, they stink, but adding into that, that they were not going to be a part of the fan base, publicly making videos, ripping their Eagles gear off walls, and saying that they wouldn't support the team, you know, if you were somebody who celebrated our Super Bowl, especially if you were somebody who attended the Super Bowl, and you're going to be somebody who is going to jump ship after the team became a loser, then to me, you were never a real fan to begin with. There was, there was never a point in time in which you were a real fan. Okay, When you are a fan, you stick by your team through thick and through thin. And here's the thing. I, I'm glad that you're no longer a fan for a few reasons. Number one, I wouldn't want the Philadelphia Eagles or I wouldn't want anyone that I support to... Um, give you mental health issues. If the Eagles give you a huge mental health issue, then I don't want you being a part of the fan base anymore because I don't want that being detrimental to your mental health. I don't think that that's good for anybody. I under I full well and understand how much it sucks to lose. You know, I've been a fan of this team uh, since the middle of the 90s. And when I became a fan, my relatives told me, you know, the Eagles aren't a good team. Well, what are you doing? And I was like, well, you know, this is the best way that I can connect with my roots. And I've seen a lot of losing in my life. I, I've probably seen more winning in my life than I have seen losing. You know, they told me this team hasn't won anything since the Kennedy administration in 1960 at that point in time. And I was like, I don't care. It, it doesn't matter to me. I'm an... I, I'm loyal as a dog. I'm going to I'm going to stick with this team through thick and through thin. And if you can't take that, that's fine. That's fine. 
You know, we, we, we have freedom in this country. But understand that you were never a real fan. You were always a fake fan. You pretended to be an Eagles fan for whatever reason, but then at a certain point in time, you stopped. You are a fake fan, and you need to deal with that. There, there, after this win, there should have been no coming back. There should have been no, oh, I watched the game, and I'm going to be an Eagles fan again. No, you're not an Eagles fan. The moment you utter the words that I'm going to stop being an Eagles fan, because, before you say that because, you're no longer a fan. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes in my book. I know that I a lot of people um, don't like takes like I have, but and 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 I'm not sure if this specific fans uh, fan base is gonna go after me. But you're not a real fan, dude. <laughs> and I think that everybody knows who I'm talking about. You're not a real fan. You were never a real fan. Um, so anybody who gave this guy tickets to games. The, the people who gave this this specific individual tickets to the Super Bowl, you gave those tickets to a fake fan. That's how it goes. Um, and I guess, I guess I'll say it, the reason why I'm not really going to be making that many videos on YouTube, I don't really get that many views. I'm working on a few projects, uh, another Eagles fans react video, uh, another the Packers road to the Super Bowl. I might have one or two videos here or there, but that's really it. Um, I'm busy with work, and um, I was fortunate enough, my wife and I were fortunate enough two weeks ago to welcome my son into this world uh, on Tuesday, uh, the 22nd of September, 2020. Uh, it was like 11 p.m. Um, boy, that was an ordeal. Um, I'm not really going to stand here and brag about it, but um, uh it was it was a C-section, and the moment the doctor said, "Oh, she's gonna have a C-section," I I lost it. I uh, they needed a, they needed a nurse in the room to console me. I'm a very emotional person, and I I'll never stray away from that. I know I don't show that that much on YouTube. It's something that I get from my mom's side of the family, but you know, I mostly been spending time with him and my and my wife and my dog. Um, they're sleeping right now, um, and I'm taking a break from work. But, um, yeah, I mean, if, if you don't, if you don't want to be a fan of the Eagles anymore, just to change subjects, if you don't want to be a fan of the Eagles anymore, bye. You know, I, I don't, I don't want you here. I don't, I don't want you to, uh, have mental health issues during the season. I don't, I don't want that. So, um, I, I hope you have a, a nice life. I hope you go to a, uh, become a fan of a team that, always wins I, I think that you know that'll be beneficial for you that'll be beneficial for your mental health you're just not an Eagles fan and I'm sorry but I'm not sorry if that hurts your feelings but it's true have a nice day guys peace until next time